this plate right here, use a 15 millimeter socket, take these two bolts out and then two on the other side. And there's a little tab right here. Push down on that tab, disconnect this connector. We have to disconnect the two O2 sensors. So there's a connector right up here. Just pull on that lock tab, disconnect that, and then pull the connector down. We'll do the same on this back one over here. Disconnect the connector. There's a little lock tab right here. Just slide that off and then pull up on the connector itself. Pull up on the tab and slide it out. Remove these two nuts right here. It's good to use some rust penetrant, especially if they're rusty. Use a 15 millimeter socket. And sometimes these break and that's okay. Take these two nuts off right here. Use a 13 millimeter socket. And these two nuts, same 13 millimeter socket. When you take the last one out, just support the pipe just so it doesn't fall. And grab the pipe, wiggle it, slide it back, and slide it down. Take this cover off first, remove the oil cap, grab the cover, and just pop it up. Reinstall the oil cap so nothing falls in there. Because this is in the way, I'm going to remove it, disconnect the connector right here. There's another connector right here for the hose. and just slide those out of the way. Remove these two bolts, use a 10 millimeter socket. And just slide this out of the way. There's an O2 sensor right here. You have to disconnect the connector. Just pull this safety clip out and then disconnect the connector. Slides off just like that. There's a shield right on top of here. This one's extremely rotted away, but there's some bolts you need to remove. There are 10 millimeter bolts. Take the one out there and there's one on top. And then there should be one on the side as well. So take those three bolts out and then slide the cover up. And slide it out. There's three nuts on the top of the manifold. Take those off, use a 15 millimeter socket. come out with the stud and that's okay. Now take that bolt out right there, use a 15 millimeter socket. Just be careful and hold this from falling, hold the converter. Grab the converter and it slides right out. Now we're going to install the studs. If you have a nut that fits on the stud, you can install the stud with one of these nuts. And then you can take the locking nut that comes with it, put those together. Then you can tighten this down and snug this up. Once the stud is tight, 
you can loosen the nuts up one at a time. Take them off and do the same with the other ones. Now I take the gasket and slide it in position. It's just going to sit like that. And take a look at the exhaust manifold. Just make sure there's no gasket material. You can clean this up with a wire brush or a little bit of sandpaper. Then slide the converter into position. And take the bolt. That's going to go right into this hanger right here. And we're just going to start this and just have it in there just to hold the converter up. So just like that, that's fine. Now we can get these nuts started from up top. And take a 14 millimeter socket and tighten these down. And if you can fit a torque wrench in there, you want to torque those to 37 foot-pounds. Now you can take the shield and slide the O2 sensor through the hole. Reconnect the connector for the O2 sensor. And if yours is not rusted out like this one, take those three 10 millimeter bolts, reinstall those, and tighten them down. Now line this up, put the bolts in, and tighten them down. Connect the connector and line the hose up and lock it down. Now put the cover back on, just take the oil cap off and put the oil cap back on. Now I tighten this bolt down and take the gasket and slide that right up on there and that should stay up there. You're going to want to clean up this area. You can use a scraper and scrape up any gasket material. You're going to want to replace it with a new gasket. So get a new gasket for here. Now slide this pipe into place. You can go over the studs in the back and right here. And put the nuts on, get them all started. And put the two nuts on back here. And tighten these bolts up. And tighten these nuts down. And these ones also. Now plug in the O2 sensors. Connect that there. And then add that safety. And take the connector, bring it over to the plug, and plug it in. And then take that safety lock and slide it through. Install the crossover shield. Get all the bolts started first.
and tighten these down.